removing the bumper on a GT3? Terrifying. Just want you to know it's terrifying. Bye, Cayenne. Safe Bye. travels. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a channel update, talking about where I'm at with Project 996, my 991, a couple of GT3s, and some other stuff that's going on. So it's been a little while since I uh, posted my last video. Well, maybe maybe a couple of weeks. Uh, the last one I think I posted was with the, uh, the GT3, which is actually sitting outside my front door right now. I've got the, uh, the white GT3 that I was driving the other week uh, back for the weekend. I'm helping a friend install a backup cam uh, into the Joy Auto device. After doing that to my 991 a couple of videos ago, I sort of swore that I'd never do that job again because it was a real pig. <laughs> uh, but you know, the chance to get my hands on a GT3 for the weekend and uh, you know, spend probably four to six hours doing the backup cam job and then a couple of hours driving and making a video, yeah, I'll do that trade. <laughs> I think that's fine. But uh, Project 996 has come uh, to a little bit of a halt at the moment while we're waiting for the paint job to be done. Um, it's down at Addo's Body Shop in Bloomington, Minnesota. Um, they're in the middle of doing the paint prep and there's quite a lot of prep that needs to go into it. They're taking off panels. They're actually disassembling a lot of the panels. The interior door trim's coming off. Um, they're taking off a couple of the fenders. They're fully kind of dismantling the spoiler area, even though we, we made a start on that. And then they're fixing all of the hail dings, the hail damage. So there's a lot of work going into that. It's probably gonna take another couple of weeks until we get that car back. So unfortunately, no 996 videos um, for a couple of weeks. When we do get it back, you know, it drives. So we'll be in a position where we're able to start making some driving videos with it. Um, we've got a few little exterior uh, tweaks that we're gonna be doing to it. We've got some uh, decals that are going down the side of each door. We've got a decal coming that's going across the back of the deck lid. Um, the new ducktail will be on, of course. Uh, we've, we've gone ahead and got the black lug nuts to go with the wheels um, because the silver kind of rusted lug nuts against the black of the, um, of the wheels doesn't look very good. And then we've got to fix the, a couple of things on the interior. But you know, hopefully, it might not be Labor Day, but still hopefully in the next month or so, the Project 996 car will be ready to rock. So that's like super exciting. Quite a few of you have been asking about the budget and uh, I'm gonna do a video on the Project 996 budget, but I kinda wanna get to the end of the job and then go back and sort of reflect on everything. Um, as I've mentioned before, you know, myself and Pat and, and Steve, we're all kinda going in on it together. Um, financially, it's Pat and I's um, sort of burden to carry. Steve's volunteering his time and his effort, um, but there's a lot sort of going into it. And you know, we've got the sort of the plan budget, and then we've got what it's actually costing, and then we've got to deduct some of the value we're getting from some of the sponsors and partners. So it's it's a little bit complicated, and I want to wait until we get to the end of the project, and then then you know, full transparency, we'll talk all about um, what we put into it, and and hopefully what we're going to get back when we we auction it off. So that's the 996. Now the 991 has been um, sort of starved for attention at the moment. It's uh, sitting in the garage. It's been driven a few times, but I haven't really done any jobs and maintenance to it. Um, I've got some new K&N air filters to go in the back of it. While I do that, um, I'm going to be uh, changing the oil. It's uh, due for an oil change in the next sort of 500 miles or so. So I'm gonna do a couple of maintenance videos and now the lift is free. Um, because the 996 car isn't here for a couple of weeks, I can actually use the thing I bought to do uh, maintenance jobs on my cars instead of squirming around on the floor in my garage. So I'll be doing that, um, but I've got to say I'm getting a little tired of the wrap. I love how it looks. Every time I go out into the garage, I just love how it looks. And then the closer I get to the car, you sort of notice all of the imperfections that, that maybe as the owner, I'm the only one that'll notice it, but you know, a little bubble here, a little peel away there, um, a couple of rock chips in the front. All in all though, I'm just, I'm, I'm just sort of getting done. It was nice to have, it was a bit of a thrill, 
but I think, yeah, I think it's maybe, I think it's maybe had its day. So what I'm thinking is enjoying it for the rest of the summer and then maybe taking it off as the winter approaches. And, and that could be a good winter job for me, taking it off while it's, um, you know, being driven less, even though I am planning to drive it through the winter. Um, but when I take the wrap off, it's gonna go back to gray. I'm thinking about doing something with the calipers. Um, I might go high gloss black, uh, sort of like uh, my friend Chris configured for his new turbo um, the other day, that video we put out last week. Uh, I'm thinking about the blue, the Miami blue kind of, or Mexico blue color to tie in with my clock face. Um, I'm thinking about going red, but then they're not the big brakes, they're not the S calipers. I don't know, but I'm thinking about doing something a little less in your face, but still, you know, kind of personal to me with the color. And I want to tie in the notch, the gauge face, and the calipers. I don't know, maybe some other things, but uh, yeah, that might be, that might be, you know, kind of the plan. Uh, I'm going to be installing the front camera to go with the backup camera that I did recently. Um, I bought one, I said I wasn't going to do the job, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do the job. Uh, I've got to get the headlights out first. And I think there's an issue with one of the catches for the, uh, for the passenger side headlights. So that might be a bit of a pain, but we're gonna see how that goes. But I'm quite looking forward. I found the, the backup cam really useful, um, even just, uh, you know, for reversing into my own garage, just, you know, always thinking about the kids running around um, while I'm out and coming back. And that's the biggest concern. I've got no problems parking or anything like that, but it's just nice to know our neighborhood, we've got kids everywhere and when I back up and I haven't got a backup camera I, I get a little bit nervous. What I am really excited about is any day now uh, the competition cat headers are arriving from Soul Performance. I've got another exhaust mod coming so that will mean I've got a full end-to-end Soul Performance exhaust. Uh, I'm going to be replacing my stock headers with the ones from Soul. So I've got an unboxing video coming, I'll have an installation video and as well as doing a comparison with my 991 against itself before and after the headers go on, and of course I've still got the footage of my stock exhaust, so that might be an interesting video to show the stock 991 exhaust, and then with the Porsche, um, with the PSE button and the Soul Performance valve exhaust, and then the final step into also adding the headers, I think that could be a really cool video. Um, but since I've got the GT3, I'm also, thinking about taking it out early tomorrow morning and getting some footage of startup and revving, valves open, valves closed, and zooming past the camera a couple of times so that I can make a sole performance 991 comparison against the 991 GT3, which I think has got the stock exhaust with the stock Porsche exhaust. It might have a Sharkworks exhaust on the back of it. I don't think so, but whatever it is, even the owner agrees that it doesn't quite sound as good as my Soul Performance exhaust on my base Carrera, which is amazing. Uh, but that could be a really interesting video. So that's something exciting that I've got coming in the pipeline. Uh, and then the other thing, my Cayenne is going. Goodbye Cayenne. I've put five or 6,000 miles on it in the two years that I've owned it. Uh, I really don't drive it enough. When my wife and I go out with the kids, we take our Highlander. Um, usually when I drive around and I go meet up with my friends, I take the 991, and now I've got winter tires on the 991. That was essentially the killer for the Cayenne, and it's just sort of been sitting on my driveway. So that's going to a buyer in California. Um, that might fund a future project. That might be Project 997 or Project 911 something. Uh, in the future, once we get past 996, I don't know, but yeah, Cayenne, it's off. See you later. Um, so my daily drive is now the 991, which is not a bad thing. And also, it's nice to only have two cars in the garage. It's more space to sort of move around. So it's all gonna work out just fine. And then last but not least, uh, the viewer video that I did recently went down really well. I've had so many great comments on that video. Um, I've got four or five people that have given me footage for the next viewer video. I am still looking for volunteers. Um, if you like, you know, flying a drone around or trying to do something creative, awesome. If you just want to give me um, a selfie video, talking about your car and maybe giving me a walk around, whatever you want to do, I am game. I'm just all about featuring other like-minded Porsche enthusiasts in the videos. So if you've got one, please get in touch with me, comment below, hit me up at contact at autoamateur.com. 
and uh, we'll make it happen. I, I really want to kind of get that next one out in August, maybe September latest. Uh, so a couple of weeks for anyone else who's interested in being featured in the next uh, viewer video, please let me know. But that's about it. More videos coming soon. I hope you're well, enjoying the summer. I personally can't wait for the fall to come because I just don't like the heat. <laughs> but that's me. Keep on driving, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Take care. Bye.